I'm Richard Mackowitz with 10 years experience as a Navy SEAL. My mission now is to track down the military hardware of tomorrow. Science fiction has been predicting force fields and death rays for over a century. But the reality may be closer than you think. Shooting at the speed of light, a laser beam is 300,000 times faster than a bullet. To show how directed energy weapons could make a critical difference in a hostage situation, I joined the SWAT team of Anderson, Indiana, who are about to run a training exercise. Your head's low and let's do it right. Let's go. Two men are holding a young woman hostage. The task we face is daunting. The building is huge. It's a quarter of a million square feet with dozens and dozens of rooms, long corridors, hundreds of doors, and potential exits. We know the hostage might already be injured, so there's no time to wait for backup. And that means a small number of officers have to secure a very large area. And that's where directed energy weapons could make all the difference. Just a few miles away in downtown Anderson, inventor and maverick Pete Bittar is perfecting the latest generation of future weapons. Some of the things we're working on right now are in our photonic disruptor series. He's working on two devices which can stop criminals in their tracks. The first is a laser that's powerful enough to disable anyone who gets in its way. These lasers are designed to temporarily distract and disorient and disable someone's ability to focus on their target. Can you demonstrate that on me? Well, uh, let me have you stand back just sure, a little sure, bit sure. just to be absolutely safe. Sure. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's definitely something where it definitely causes a moment where I can't see anything, like kind of like a flashball. Yeah, I and mean, you I, probably I, have some after image. Exactly. Yeah. I definitely have after image. There's like a big, like, green blob where your face belongs right Exactly. Now. Technology like this could already make a difference in the war on terror. One example right now that this is being used uh, currently is in combat to stop vehicles at checkpoints. Iraqi insurgents have often run roadblocks and killed coalition soldiers small, powerful lasers can obscure the driver's vision, temporarily blinding him and forcing the vehicle to stop. It's taking pretty much right until now for my vision to really fully recover from the, that laser that was in my eye. Yeah, and, and that's the idea. Is it, you get that momentary, temporary inability to focus on your target. It's impressive. I mean, it looks like something out of Star Wars. His gun is now fitted with a lightweight, dazzling laser. Stun strike zaps the first suspect as he tries to exit the doorway. At the same instant, the officer fires his laser at the other suspect and hostage. Both devices buy the SWAT team vital seconds as they gain control of the situation without any casualties. Why did that work? Uh, that one worked, I think, a lot better because the officer that was guarding the two doors had one last thing to do. He, he discarded one door and he the other device uh, guarded the second door. I think it'd be, it would be one less place that an officer has to be concerned about, and it would reduce the stress. 